counseling can make wonders they can do magic the moment you try and go near to the people try their hurt try their mind and try to see that they are again reunited and basically this concept has come from the core concept of the family court act in india which says that family marriage institutions must be protected they must be nurtured and they must be strengthened but when i ask the students of law when i take interview madam in family law i ask them what is family court they say that family court is a divorce court this is what the impression they have the wrong impression they have and therefore what we need is gender sensitization is what is needed because you ask any common man or a student studying a law that family court is there for what the first question come i know that section 13 and 13b where i can go and take a divorce i say absolutely wrong you can go for reuniting you can go for restitution you can go for you are bond and love and affection through counseling in the family court system and therefore i remember what was said by supreme court and i'm coming to the issue now priya sharaf was a case in supreme court said in 2010 that family court is a different court altogether it is a court which is consisting of three concept number one it is a court where you have arbitration it's a court where you can settle your problems through mediation conciliation that is number one number two it is a court where it is inquisitorial where it is not that two advocates will be fighting but the judge can mediate and judge can intervene and can settle the matter it is inquisitorial and the last one is it is adversary system where you go and argue for those matters which cannot be sorted out there in those cases you go and fight and argue and apply the law but primarily it is a family court it is a court where we sit discuss and try to sort out the problems but today what has happened is in all over india the experience is otherwise because of the commercial angle the concept of family court is taking a different turn but i'm happy that puna family court particularly the experience i had with the family court puna is a role model for the for the entire nation and when i was reading the book on uh, this matrimonial dispute by flavia agnes she has written that it is only in maharashtra where conciliation has become an integral part before you go for gender justice we are the first in in india to introduce the innovative concept of conciliations we are the first in in india to talk about gender justice through counseling so what we need is we are not only thinking about maharashtra we are thinking about the entire india that how we can change the system of family court and how we can believe how we can make the man believe that yes you can get justice at the family courts not only by hiring a lawyer but even through the counselors and when i was reading that book i have come across many issues where it has been told that the counselors who have been appointed the counselors who are working at the various family courts sometime they lack the knowledge of law because they are master in social science they are not having the knowledge of law but when this act was enacted it was thought that the law angle will be taken care by the judge there is no need of a lawyer lawyer will work as a amicus curiae and the counselor will do the work of a psychologist or the counselor will touch the mind and the heart and will settle the cases through the experiences which he has in the social work but today if you see the concept of family the concept of family has been totally complex today we are having live in relationship today we are having transgender sex today we are having domestic violence today we are having homosexuality so if these are the problems which we are facing we need a counselors who are expert we need counselors who are updated with law at least even if they do not have a degree of law but they must be given training so that they can give the real counseling i am not doubting the qualification of the counselors they are doing really wonders but if they get the knowledge of law they will become extraordinary and they can sort it out the problems at the lower level itself and the burden on the family court judges the burden in the form of areas of the cases can be reduced this is the first thing which uh, i would like to honestly discuss in today's uh, workshop that whether we need training whether we need counseling for counselors and therefore i believe in continuous legal system and it has been said by justice bhagwati that everybody is a student of law nobody is master of law till he dies everybody try to learn and therefore we must be ready to learn there is nothing shy in feeling that i am not knowing certain things so let us learn something and therefore the uh, first thing what is required is the up updated and uh, uh, latest knowledge of the law which is the most important point which is required number 2 we have been saying that this family court is for speedy justice and those speedy justice whether it is still a distant dream for many of us 
because the number of cases are rising, everybody is aware of the rights and they want to go and settle the matters in the family courts, which has been originally designated as the Mahila court. And whether we are giving really justice and justice delayed is justice denied. So what we need there, that is what is the second lookout we have to do. The third thing which is the more, more and more important and concern for me because I go to Bharti Vidyapit University every day and family court in Pune is the part of Bharti Vidyapit itself. It is on the seventh floor of Bharti Vidya Pete. We are proud to have that. But the question remains when I teach the student of law, madam, that it is to be taken in camera. The trial must be in camera. Everything must be confidential. Now the student asked me a question, sir, I've gone to family courts, nothing is confidential. And therefore, what should I do for those things which must be confidential? And therefore, we need a machinery, we need a role model. I was having a newspaper clipping just three days before that. There is a family court building which we are going to have after three, um, uh, uh, before three years it was uh, inaugurated and now we are going to have soon it. So the concept of the, uh, the camera trials, the concept of speedy justice, the concept of having counselors who are experts, the concept of sensitization of the judges, lawyers and the parties, that is what is also re is required. I was speaking at the same issues in National Law School, Bangalore, and there was a suggestion from the uh, audience that we say in the matter of A versus B. Why can't we say in the matter of A and B? The moment we say A versus B, there is a fight between A and B. Just two days before they were husband and wife, they were sleeping in the same roof. They were enjoying the same life. They were enjoying the same company. Afterwards, they become petitioner and respondent. And that kind of feeling of fighting, that kind of feeling of hatredness automatically comes in the mind of the people. And therefore, we have to change our system as well as of addressing to those parties. Can we say in the matter of A and B instead of saying in the matter of A versus B? So we have to really think on these issues. Nothing criticizing on anybody. I am not saying that we are doing very bad. We are doing really good. I was told by the pres vice president of this association that most 50% cases have been, uh, more than 50% cases have been sorted out by counseling. The family court is really doing wonders. We are getting gender justice and we are going for women empowerment. We are the leading family court in Maharashtra and in India. We are doing better, but we need something extraordinary as well. We have to go to the international level and therefore, you all will be surprised to know that when I was reading all these kinds of international comparison, because I have special love and affection for gender justice and women empowerment, I came to know that there, are, there is a need of innovative method of counseling. You have to reach to the people. Now with the IT technology, we can reach to the clients and we can give advice. It is not that when we sit one to one and there is a confession and then only things are happening. Certain times what you need is you need justice at the doorsteps. And therefore I call counselors as justice providers. Though they are not judges but they can behave like a justice providers with their advice. And I believe that today's legal education is not only legal education but it is a justice education. And therefore if we use this concept of e-lawyering and e-justice, definitely we can reach to millions. There are many people. When we started this legal aid center in Pune, there are people calling from Parbani, there are people calling from Nanded, there are people calling from distance. And when I say to them that you please come to my center, I'll give advice. He says that I have no money to come. How can I come? I am just calling you because I am a destitute. I am a lady who is left by my, my husband. I have nobody to take care. And you are asking me to travel from Nanded to Pune. Where is 2,000 rupees to spend? And where I will stay in Pune? Are you going to provide me the food? Are you going to provide me shelter? Are you going to provide me every kind of facility which I need? And I cannot leave because I'm a daily wager, if I leave there, I lose 100 rupees. What do you want for them? Become sensitive, touch to their hearts. Just do not keep justice on the papers. It is not paper justice we are talking about. We are talking about practical justice. And I'm sure that all of you will agree that only 5% cases reaches to the court. 95% cases are sorted out in the house. They are sorted out in the society. They are sorted out, they are sorted out among the people. We go only 5%. Rest of the matters we settle, we try to settle. So why not to reach to those people who are unreachable? Why not to reach to those people who cannot come to the court? Why not to reach and talk to those people that what they are in need of? And therefore, I believe that the role of counselor is more than just accept only, only delivering at the court. They can go in the society and they can deliver at large. And therefore, today's uh, workshop is an introspection of all this. And I believe that whatever I'm speaking will be taken in good faith without any harm and insult to anybody. I'm a part of this system and I want to improve the system. I want to see that this system becomes foolproof and we give justice to everybody because we believe that earning is easy, returning is difficult. And gender justice gives happiness to everybody. Everybody has a problem in their family. Like everybody says, we need a family doctor. We need a family counselor. We need a family person who try and settle our issues. And therefore, 
I earnestly request all those who have come with this mission of giving gender justice to really understand that 46% of India's population is woman and 34% of India's population is child. 80% people of India are woman and child. And what for they were that we are doing? Are we giving them anything extra? We are just talking on talking and making laws and laws and laws. Laws they don't want, they want justice. They want some help. They want real justice. And therefore, let us reach to them through different methods. And uh, we have designed an app which is going to help the people to, to, uh, to register their queries, to come and uh, ask the questions. And whatever best we can give through education, that we are going to do. And Madam will soon inaugurate that app. And you will see that in the app, we have given all the information. We'll be updating the information on the law, the case commentary. In First, it is in English. Then we are going to do in Marathi. And people can log on, and they can take the appointment on the app itself. And the information will be given on the app that what they can do, really, if there is a problem. Because when I went to Latur and gave a lecture on surrogacy, there is a problem of surrogacy. It is a big issue that you cannot understand what is happening of surrogacy. People really do not bother that what is really it's surrogacy. Why to go surrogacy? Problem of maintenance, problem of divorce, problem of other things. So these are many issues, though the judges, they are doing 24 hours work. Salute to the Supreme Court. That Supreme Court at the morning, 4 o'clock, delivers a judgment in case of Yaqub Menon. Became the only one court in, in the world that who never sleeps ready for justice. Was world-class judgment at the morning. 4 o'clock. We know that the judges of India, they are really for delivering justice to the people. But as a common man, in the family matters, in the gender issues, we can also support the justice delivery system by our knowledge, by our educational system. And therefore, we all are here to help and support the system. I once again welcome all of you. And before I end my speech, I would like to say that if you break the egg from outside, if you break the egg from outside, you kill the life. But if you break the egg from within, you create a life. The time is for to change ourselves. Time not to say that you change. I once again thank all of you for joining this mission of Bhati Vidyapit, rendering gender justice and women empowerment. And I'm thankful to all those judges.